Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kauser Wise, and this is a continuation video of solving previous year university question paper. That is November two thousand twenty-two financial management. In that, we are solving section B five mark questions and section C ten mark questions. Okay, you can find the playlist link in the description box. Now, in this video, we are going to solve section C. That is ten mark question. Last one, computation of net present value. Under capital budgeting. Now let's get into the video. See the problem. Manikandan Limited is considering a proposal for the investment of six lakh fifty thousand on product development, which is expected to generate net cash flows for seven years as under. So how much initial investment? Six lakh fifty thousand and expected cash inflow. So cash flow means profit for seven years given in the problem. First year no profit. From second year onwards, they are getting profit. Okay, this is the expected cash inflow, expected profit for seven years given in the problem. And then the following table gives the present value of rupee one due in n number of years. Okay, so here they have given PV factor at fifteen percentage. So PV factor is required in order to find out the present value of inflow for each and every year. Okay, so seven years. PV factor is given at fifteen percentage. The company's cost of capital is fifteen percentage. So with this information, we are asking us to calculate ascertain the net present value. Okay, so we need to find out NPV, that is net present value. Now let's see the solution. See the solution. Computation of net present value. Here, cash inflow, PV factor at fifteen percentage. And present value of inflow. Okay, so I've entered all these informations from the problem. Seven years and cash inflow also given in the problem. Okay, and PV factor fifteen percentage also given in the problem. I have taken all these informations from the question. With this, I am going to calculate present value of inflow. Okay, so cash inflow given in the problem and PV factor also is there. Okay, by multiplying cash inflow. With PV factor, we will be getting present value of inflow. Okay, just multiply cash inflow with PV factor. For the first year, no profit, so nil. Second year, two lakhs into point seven five six, you will be getting one lakh fifty one thousand two hundred. Second year, two lakh twenty five thousand into point six five eight, you will be getting. One lakh forty-eight thousand fifty rupees. Okay. Next year, two lakh fifty into point five seven two. You will be getting one lakh forty-three thousand. Next year, three lakhs into point four nine seven. You will be getting one lakh forty-nine thousand one hundred. Next year, four lakh into point four three two. You will be getting one lakh seventy-two thousand eight hundred. Then last year five lakh into point three seven six, you will be getting one lakh eighty eight thousand. So this is the way to calculate present value for each and every year. Now you will be getting total present value of inflow. Just find out the total nine lakh fifty two thousand one fifty. After finding the total present value of inflow, we need to compare with cash outflow. Cash outflow means initial investment. See the problem. How much initial investment? Six lakh fifty thousand. Okay, so this is cash outflow. Less cash outflow. Six lakh fifty thousand. What is the difference? Three lakh two thousand one fifty. So this is called. NPV net present value. Okay, so this is the way to find out net present value. After finding total present value of inflow, just subtract cash outflow in order to find out net present value. So this is the way to calculate net present value. Hope you like this video. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thank you.